Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today we are staging this dining room setup to sell on Facebook Marketplace. And we are gonna share with you how you can make furniture flipping a full-time job. So I was out yesterday getting an oil change and doing a few other errands and I got a call from Sarah and she said, you gotta go right now. There's this dining set, it's 20 bucks. <laughs> Um, we have to get it. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, yes, dear. <laughs> Whatever. <you like> it. <laughs> no, she sent it to me, and they're actually, um, it was a full set of the of four of those chairs that I flipped before and made really good money on, so I knew it was a good, good buy. Um, so it was only about 20 minutes away, so I just headed right on over there and got these gems that we're sitting in right now. So we knew that the actual chair upholstery was not in good condition, and we thought it would be fun to make it a bigger transformation. Mm -hmm. So we went to Joann's and got some orange velvet fabric, which we think really suits kind of the era of these chairs. Mm -hmm. um, and so Jamie was able to just kind of unscrew the bottom of the chairs. We stapled it on. We'll show you guys how we did that. This is the one. Okay, All right. We just got back from Joanne Fabrics. We got this really cool orange velvety material in the upholstery section. Um, and we're gonna recover the cane chairs. So I'm going to cut this into fours and we're actually gonna take off the bottom of the chair and actually just staple it on. We bought the whole set for 20 bucks. I don't know, I think maybe we could try for 300. Seriously? It's a dining set. So what we've been doing is covering these seats. Um, they were just too stained to actually fully clean, so we decided to go with this orange velvet instead. Um, we just finished our first one, so we're basically just wrapping the material around the cushion and then just stapling it all together. It's really easy. It's only gonna take us about half an hour and we'll have all of them done. So we should just flip this upside down, put it on there, make sure our fabric wraps around in the front start with the front, since we care the most about that. All right. Then we just do the opposite side after that. We're going to start in the middle so your creases aren't in the middle. All right, so it's as easy as that. All finished, all stapled around, then we just got to screw back in and it looks like a brand new chair. All right guys, here we go. It turned out really well. We usually don't put too much effort into our flips. We usually just kind of clean them up and take a nice photo, but this little extra effort I think really uh, will change our profit uh, to be a lot greater than it would have been. Yeah, so we spent $20 on the whole set and then $20 in fabric. So we're at $40 mm -hmm. and I'm actually asking 300 for them on Facebook. So the transformation of these chairs actually turned out even better than we had hoped. I kind of wanted to keep them. They're really awesome. Um, but we ended up selling them for the $300 that I was asking. Didn't think we could, but she was right once again. <laughs> so I also think what made this dining set really desirable is that it was pretty compact and uh, broke down nice and small. So anyone with a smaller car hatchback or SUV could actually come pick it right up and it's really convenient. Um, also, it's great for you know a smaller apartment. I think that's kind of key with furniture flipping is finding smaller items that people can fit into almost any car. Mm -hmm. um, because if you're trying to sell big giant hutches or couches, that really kind of takes a special person with a that type of car to actually sell that item. So you're really limiting who you're selling to. For the next part of this video, we thought we'd talk about full-time furniture flipping and if it's actually possible. Um, now, full disclosure, we're not full-time furniture flippers. <laughs> I know we have a lot of videos about that on our channel, but 
Um, we have fun doing it, it's a hobby of ours, um, but we have been self-employed for about eight years now. Um, and that's required us to um, acquire different streams of income and be a little creative with how we make our money. So Jamie and I started our self-employed journey as wedding photographers about eight years ago. At the time, I was working in an insurance company and I made about $30,000 a year. So I knew that we needed to shoot about 15 weddings at $2,000 a piece um, to cover that salary. And that meant that I would be able to quit my job. Um, so if you wanted to be a full-time furniture flipper, um, it's just simple math also. So we're gonna break it down for you and show you that it might be easier than you think. So we're gonna use $50,000 as an example for an average salary that someone might want to replace. So if you wanted to make $50,000 a year uh, furniture flipping, you would need to profit about $1,000 a week. Um, which seems like a lot, but if you take the example of this dining table set we just flipped, um, we made over $250 profit on, um, you'd only need to do four of those a week in order to make 50 grand a year. That doesn't really seem so bad, and you might think that this is a unicorn example um, where we bought something for 20 and sold it for 250, but if you check out our other videos, we've been able to do it quite often. Yeah, I think uh, the key is just being on marketplace looking. You can do auctions, estate sales. There's a lot There's a lot of ways to do it. We had a camper we flipped uh, for $950 profit. You would really only need to do one of those per week to make 50 grand a year. We spent about three hours on this project total between picking it up, reupholstering the chairs, and selling it. Um, so if you only had to do four of those a week, that's really only 12 hours a week. Um, you know, sometimes it might be more than that. It might be 20 hours a week. But bottom line is that you're actually saving time from your 40 hour a week job that you might be doing now. Yeah, and that's one of the great benefits of working for yourself is that if you can work efficiently and get your work done, uh, you'll have a lot more time that you could dedicate to spending time with your family mm -hmm. or you could even go make more money if you wish that way too. So for us, that was key is once we were both able to quit our jobs, um, we had so much extra free time before we had kids <laughs> um, to go and pursue other types of businesses. Um, that's kind of how we got started in real estate and house flipping um, and rental properties. So having that initial ability to quit our jobs um, was really huge for us. Yeah, the time savings is what was really important. So it's been said that the average millionaire has about seven streams of income. So for us, we've really been working hard over the last eight years to just have different avenues of income. Um, we started with wedding photography and we've been able to build that into rental properties and also flipping houses and flipping furniture and we've had other businesses as well. So having that extra time from not having to go to a nine to five job has really um, allowed us to create those different streams of income. And having those streams of income, uh, more than just one, is important when you're self-employed because if something like COVID happens and you know all your weddings get postponed till the next year, um, you have other means to make income and provide for your family. So having those all working together um, is really important and that's why we're trying to build our streams of income. If you want to get started in furniture flipping and kind of learn the whole process, we have a whole playlist of videos that will show you exactly how we do it. Um, so I'll post that below for you guys to check out, but uh, other, otherwise we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.